Jones has Jimmy Jacobs, the world's four-wall singles handball champion. To the followers of that relatively unpublicized sport, he's thought of as a superstar of the same magnitude as a Sandy Koufax, a Jimmy Brown, or a Will Chamberlain. His tremendous physical skills, coupled with an analytical approach to the game and a desire to win, has made him almost unbeatable. He makes maybe the most difficult indoor game seem almost childlike as he rifles kill shots with either hand so hard they can barely be seen by the eye. While Jimmy's sport might be considered unusual to most, his hobby is even more unusual. He's the proud possessor of the world's largest single collection of fight films. When Jimmy isn't on the handball court, he is generally be found in his midtown offices editing or viewing his prize films or running down leads on long forgotten fight films that are gathering dust in someone's attic or basement. Of the many films which he now owns, Jimmy has his favorites. The Johnson Willard fight, the Corbett Fitzsimmons title fight in 1897, and a stage fight in involving Charlie Chaplin and Jack Dempsey. On a recent visit to his office, I asked Jimmy for a viewing of his most unusual film in his collection. This is Peter Muller, Frank, in white trunks and hand stretch. He's the fighter in black trunks. Now watch this. The referee is flattened. Notice the referee lying prostrate on the ground. This is the only time in the history of boxing where a referee was actually knocked out in a fight. And it's Peter Muller who is continuing to fight. Look, he is irate. Now he's going to throw one of the men who came into the ring out. He wants to continue to fight. He seems supremely indifferent that the referee is lying on the canvas. Now, Muller is leaving the ring, declaring himself the winner. In the meantime, the referee is still out. Muller, incidentally, was the middleweight champion of Germany. Now, they're attending to the referee. Muller is declaring himself the winner, but the German Boxing uh, Commission declared that Hans Stretz was the winner. Jimmy, that's really interesting. How in the world did you ever get started in such a unique uh, sort of a thing? Well, about uh, 20 years ago, Frank, I started to collect fight films, and it was a hobby. But then the producer of Greatest Fights of the Century, Bill Caton, uh, convinced me that I should turn my hobby into a commercial exploit. So uh, we went into a partnership, and now with Bill Caton, we're commercializing on these fight films all over the world. Well, Jimmy, how many fights would you say you have here at Greatest Fights? I would say that we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 6,500 fights, which is a majority of all of the fight films that exist in the world. Of course, Jimmy, you have another uh, hobby, avocation, whatever you want to call it, and that's uh, the world's championship in handball. When will the next uh, defense be coming up? Well, I would have to defend my world title in Australia sometime in late November. That means that at my age, I've got to start training pretty soon.